It is time to bring in Pat Pagano and take a look at our forecast. I hope you had a good uh, weekend, Pat. Well, it was so-so. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't fabulous, that's for sure. Well, number one, I wasn't at the lake. Yeah. So there's a there's a negative right there. Um, uh, second second year in a row that I didn't get up there on Memorial Day, but say living. Um it, it wasn't um, it wasn't terrible. The weather worked out pretty much as planned. Um, I was on my I was on the Palisades northbound Saturday afternoon when I looked at the black sky ahead of me and just prayed that I get home before that storm hit. And I uh, got out put the car in the garage and the first big drop started to fall. And for an hour and a half later, a severe thunderstorm raged on two inches of rain and an hour and a half hail, lightning, thunder. When you talk about luck, I made it home just in time. And of course, once that storm hit, things cleared out and uh, the rest of the weekend went uh, as planned. Yeah, yeah. How did um, how did our new uh, Dan Henry do? He did good. He did good. He's got a nice he, voice. He's got a ple- pleasant voice. Yep, very nice. Uh, he was kind of nervous. They were. He was shooting me questions over the weekend, and when I was here, I was um, I was answering him. But he was a little nervous about you know formats and stuff like that. But I thought it was a perfect weekend uh, for him to try to uh, to try out his uh, his talents because let's face it. Um, Memorial Day weekend traditionally is not as popular as July 4th. Yeah. Well, no, he did a good job. He did a good job. Had the forecast good. up in plenty of time. Good. Uh, and like I said, his his voice is a very pleasing voice. So, uh, so uh, I think he I, I think he gets out of a possible five star rating uh, for the first time. I think I would give him a 4.3. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good for well, the first time. Yeah, for the first huh. time, yeah. People don't huh. understand, you know, oh, well, how, how, how hard can it be? You're behind a microphone. And it's hard. Fo- folks, when you first start a new job in broadcasting and you've got so many different stations to work with and you've got this and that, and you've got the, it's hard. It's not easy. Not some stations, right. Some stations require you to be um, uh, very, very up. Other stations yeah. require you to be uh, monotone, you know. Uh, it depends on the kind of station that you're forecasting the weather for. So, yeah, yeah, you learn eventually. Well, he'll be um, he'll be subbing for me, um, uh, you know, for uh, my vacation, and um, and when I take the Mondays off, uh, come the fall when we start our movie making. So, um, I already you know alerted him. He is from Florida, and um, he's done a lot of radio, and he's also done TV. And he also uh, dabbles in real estate. And he was telling me that rents in Florida now are equivalent to that in Manhattan. Oh, it's, how, yeah, about, it's, it's, how about it's, that? It's a, it's, it's a nationwide problem. Uh, and here, rents are, you can't find them. Never mind it, if they're comparable really? price. You can't find them. They're just, it's just you know, it, there's, they're not out there. They're not out there. It's, it's, uh, yeah. That's unbelievable. Well, let's talk about the weather because it's tricky, Marshall. Yeah. We have a cold front. It's what we call a backdoor cold front. Most of our cold fronts come in from the west. This cold front is coming down from the north. It's in New Hampshire now. It's going to continue to move south, southwestward today. So it'll be partly sunny, hot on the humid side. I didn't put in any showers or thunderstorms for us, but it's not out of the question for the Berkshires to get a thunderstorm late today. In the low 90s. If they do, that could come down toward us tonight, briefly. 55 to 60. Now, tomorrow, with the front to our south, showers and maybe a thunderstorm redeveloping in the mid-60s. Then on Thursday, showers and a thunderstorm again, 75 to 80. And any showers Friday should begin to move out, 75 to 80. And with any luck at all, that should pave the way for a very decent weekend. By that, I mean... Pleasantly warm temperatures, low humidity, and a fair amount of sun. Now, let's take our attention toward the Gulf of Mexico. There was a tropical storm 
in the Pacific, south of Mexico, I think it was Agatha, she moved inland across the Pacific, and the remains of Agatha will emerge in the Gulf of Mexico, just to the um, left of the Yucatan. And when it gets in there, there's a, at least a 40% chance that it's going to redevelop. Now, it won't be Agatha, because that was a Pacific system. This will be an Atlantic system, so it would be given the name Alex. And here, here is the funny thing. You know, Marshall, we have been talking about this for years and years and years. I keep telling you, Marshall, Florida and Cape Cod, overdue. Well overdue for a major hurricane. And I told my sister a few years ago, I said, you know, she was talking about moving to Florida, and I said, uh, just do yourself a favor. Don't move there until after the, the major hurricane. Because when you go down there, the prices are going to be a lot cheaper. So she breaks the news to me that she bought a house in Venice on the West Coast. Sight unseen. She bought it from looking at the Internet, and they closed via the Internet. So this Saturday, she's taking a, a plane down there to do the walk tour. It's after the fact, but... You know, she's going down there. So I said to her, I said, but I told you to wait. She said, you've told me that for three years. I'm tired of waiting. So, okay, fine. And how ironic it is that the Euro model, three runs in a row, takes what could become Alex and moves it directly toward Venice, Florida. Could you just imagine? She'll have some home remodeling to do. <laughs> home remodeling? She'll probably curse me. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Well, that's always the way it is, Pat. That's always the way it is. It is. Uh, you know, and I, I, I said, well, you know what, Pat? Don't say a word right now. Uh, because, first of all, you know as well as I do, if there is going to be a threat to Florida uh, this weekend, she's going to have a hard time getting, getting an airline to go down to the area yeah. where there's a threat. You know, they're probably going to cancel the flight. Um, but I figured before I start pressing any panic buttons, it's only Tuesday. Let me wait. I'll wait till Thursday. And if I see it's still going in that direction, then I'll have to break the news to her very slowly. See, that's the difference between you and me. If I had given uh, a family member some advice and this happened. you Now you would be done with it. I'd be No, I'd be needling them. I'd be needling oh. them. Oh. I'd be needling them. Oh, I got you. Okay. Yeah. I'd be needling them, but that's me. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, well, we'll see what happens with it. You know. I mean, that's it. You know. Oh, you know as well as I do. What you can do with hurricanes and tropical storms. Watch. You can't do anything other than that. You just yeah. have to watch. By the way, the American GFS model um, thinks that this system is going to head east northeastward and out into the Atlantic. Um, it, it is so different. Um, they develop it. They sort of develop it near Cuba. Um, that's what I was looking at and thinking to myself, well, it looks like it's, you know, so far east. So they develop it like around there. And then all of a sudden, here's a low over the Bahamas. And they move it east, northeast, without out to sea. So they are really, they develop it, but they are so much different than the Euro. So I'll, I'll be very curious to see again just like we do in the wintertime, to see who is going to wind up correct. Well, we'll see what happens. You know, that's all you can do is sit and watch. I watched um, two episodes of Stranger Things. Yeah, how would you like it? So far, not not uh, jumping off my chair for it, I have to tell you. Now, I hope, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to get better. Uh, so far right now, um, I just, to me, it's like... Um, where are we going with this? Like, I just haven't tied it up yet. So um, so we shall see what right. happens with that. That's the only thing I had. I had to go to the party Sunday, uh, you know, the birthday, 70th birthday party, which, of course, they had beautiful weather for. Uh, so I went to that. And then yesterday I worked um, a few hours here in the weather center. And um, I had to take all my clothes out of my closet. I have two poles. In the closet, one on the top, one on the bottom. Uh, the bottom pole looked like it was going to be not breaking, but it was bowing, I guess you would call yeah. it. Um, 
I guess it's a little too heavy. I had to take all my clothes out to fix the pole. And I switched it. And I'll tell you, Marshall, it's amazing when you when you do this because I found clothes that I didn't even know I know uh, own. I found jackets, spring jackets, that have not been touched. Tags are still on it. <laughs> I would think that I have tw about 24 spring jackets. <laughs> yard sale time, yard sale time. I don't know where I'm putting them. Oh, well, no, they're really brand new and, and they're good. Uh, I don't know where I'm putting them. I can't put them back in that closet because they're just too heavy for the pole. So I have no idea where I'm putting them. So I have to work on that. All right. Well, this weekend I saw my doctor on Saturday. And then and, I and met my, my latest grandson, Miles Martin, uh, on Sunday. Nice name. Yeah, I posted a picture on my Facebook page. If you go to my Facebook page, you'll be able to see Miles and Miles. Okay. Uh, we're sitting there, and uh, and it was nice to meet him. Uh, and uh, now, uh, now I think I think we're all set with grand with grandchildren for a while. Okay. And what about the doctor? Uh, the doctor, just normal treatment. That's all. Just normal treatment. I'm going to go see him again on Friday. Did What's you uh, Did you ever hear of cellulitis? Yes. Um, one of the ladies that I work with in Delaware on the radio, she was feeling very, very sick. And uh, she went to the ER. And it turns out, you know, uh, sick, um, not only internally, but she had blisters and rashes on her legs. It turns out that she had cellulitis. And um, she's still in the hospital. They're hoping to release her tomorrow. But mm -hmm. I never knew that something like that would be so dangerous. Yeah, no, that's something, that's something got to fix. That's right. Can be a, your skin is the biggest and largest, most important organ organism. in the body. Yeah, so. Well, what's going on, Marshall? What's with all this junk that's flying around? It is what it is, Pat. Yeah. Judgment Day. <laughs> I don't know. Well, in any event, try to stay cool. It's going to be hot. It's going to be humid. Low 90s today, folks. And uh, we have cooler weather just coming in today. All right. I'll speak with you tomorrow. Sounds good. Bye-bye, Marshall. Take care, Pat. Uh, Pat began this morning in the Weather Center with a check on our tri-state forecast here on The Breakfast Club.